Oh, you you're, you're licensed to dance now. It's well, okay. No, you no, can no, shake no, your head. No, oh, it's fine. No, you really have to catch me somewhere <laughs> else dancing. You know, some of us, we're actually good and better dancers when we sit down, especially if you've done a radio mm, job before. We sit down and we just bop our heads and we turn. But yeah, when we're standing, right. we really Get can't move. You know, we can't move. But anyway, you just saw that. Well, our guest of the week, we did say, well, is, or, is a he, and we're keeping the names uh, well unwrapped, but now time for us to unwrap that. You've seen two fantastic videos. The first time I had, well, I'll always oh, pray for pray you. For I had you. to call my friend who was still in the radio station to uh, mime the bit I could, and he gave me the name that his <laughs> name is Nusa. I said, oh, my God, that's a Benny dude. Well, anyway, uh, this we go. is uh, well, a singer-songwriter, <laughs> uh, an engineer, mm -hmm. and someone who's uh, well made his people proud. Uh, yeah. Nosai, good to have you this morning. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. I actually mm -hmm. thought you were going to have the hat uh, you wore on that video because I, I love that. That's my favorite kind of hat. Oh, not, uh, yes, yes. Not, yes. A, not, not a baseball hat. We yeah, know. No, it's, it's for gentlemen. I, I, I want to look uh, or maybe feel younger than mm. I really am. So, yes, that's why I have this on. You know, there's anything I love so much about the Sunrise uh, Saturday is this segment because okay. of all, you, you, know, you know when you talk about all this hot hot news and everything, mm. you need someone like yourself to really come to bring and, it down and bring it down yeah. and all that. So yeah. how's it been like from engineering? You were in the University of Benin. Yes, yes, yes uh, a good school, don't mind me. Yes, very good. Uh, if, <laughs> <laughs> if someone who did engineering from your school. Mm -hmm. uh, now in music, you know, once upon a time, those yeah. who were in music uh, were those who never had cause to really go uh, deep into into school, school education, uh, yeah. formal, formal education, education yes. rather. So yeah. how has it been like switching from your engineering core uh, profession to music? Well, I wouldn't really call it a switch because um, I started producing I, my interest in music in being a, 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 like an artist, an artist grew when I was in school. Mm. You know, so then I would come out in class when we have our devotion, because our, our class was a very spiritual class. You're yes. a pastor? Yes, I am. Good. So I'll come Say out. Say that again? I'm a pastor, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but not your regular type. I'm very... You, you, know, would, you would define that later. No, I, Whether no. regular uh, or... <laughs> it, it, no, no, I, I don't... I, well, that would be off air. But then, <laughs> yes, I, I used to uh, get, get up to the podium and then sing. You know, so I, I decided to strengthen that. I tried my hands at writing. You know, when you get into school, you meet people of different, um, um, different, with different ideas, different visions. And I, I, I joined a musical group, a lot of musical groups in, in school then. So that was when I decided I wanted to really do this, you know, write songs and, and being the kind of person I am who wants to make an impact. I know how powerful music is, you know kind of tool music is so I, I I weighed it what would I how much would I affect people being an engineer and how much more would I affect people being a musician so I decided you know to very few it. people would uh, want to introduce a singer songwriter I, I normally would do that comfortably especially when it comes to people who yeah. do rock music because yeah. mo most rock artists are also writers yeah what inspires you when you put pen to paper to write songs okay first of all um, because I want to make an impact because what I see around me affects me because it's beyond um, uh, being famous for me being in music I think the, the the desire to want to say something about what's going on you know help one or two people with, with whichever way I can I think that's what really inspires me not nothing in not, not one thing in particular right. I might be concerned about there was a song I was about to I got I made a beat and then I said, okay, what would I vibe to this beat? A beat that sounds like Why You Love Me. Mm. That South South, you know, a do, delta, mm. a touch, a high life to it, you know. And then I thought, what would I write to this? I was going to write Celebrate. Then I thought about what was going on in the country, how that there's still some, there, there's so many issues, missing girls or no missing girls, mm. the polity and every, what's going on in the country. And I said, it would be wrong time to write a song that talks about celebrating, mm. you know. Okay. So I changed the, the 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 title in my head, and I changed the direction okay. of writing. So that's that's how I that's what you know. It's a little bit random, but it's about the message. Okay. Yeah. So. And that brings me to the question: 
What genre of music would you say you fall into? I would say gospel, because I like the I would always pray Yeah, for to you. me, gospel is not a genre. I would, I would scrap it from a list of genres. Okay. Yes, you could have a gospel song. You know, because you, 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 mm. you, you, you walk up to someone and he does hip hop, he's dressed like this, you know, and then because he mentions a particular name, it's no longer hip hop. It's now gospel hip hop. But then some of those songs don't really preach the gospel. They talk to a certain a group of people, but the gospel is not for a group of people. The gospel is for everybody. So it's so about the message that it's makes about it gospel. The message. It's about the message because there's no other genre that talks about you don't have Islamic music. There are the Islamic songs that talk about what they believe in. But then a song is a song. Mm. You understand? If, it's, if, it, if, if, if I have a genre called rock because of how it sounds, mm -hmm. not because of the message you put to it, then why create another genre that is not based on the sound but the message? Okay. You know, I have a message. Right. I do all genres of music because I was influenced by different types of music. You hear me do reggae fused with rock or fused with hip hop or mm. fused with R and B. You, you understand? So I do a lot of fusion. I, my music is a style of no style. I'm the Bruce Lee of music. Okay, but then my <laughs> message is the most important. Is inspired by where I come from and what I believe in which is my Christian background. Right. So my message carries the message of love, of life, of God. You understand? That's the gospel. So my message is the gospel. Mm -hmm. But I don't have any gospel genre music. I don't... You know, Tell don't. us about your first big break, you know. Uh, well, it was Always Pray For You. I released it in 2009. You know, I, was, I was told not to release it while I was recording. My father lives in Port Harcourt, so I went there to record. So I have this other beat song. They were like, release this one. Nigerians don't like good music. Nigerians Who said just want that to, to dance. You? Uh, the, my guy. Who is your guy? He's in Lagos now. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> so he, he said Nigerians don't like, they just want to dance. They, they want the beat. Yeah, they, don't the the beat. they don't listen to the message yeah, sometimes. Yeah, they don't listen to the message. But then, uh, well, I, 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 I decided, okay, let me come to Lagos. I met my pastor. He was like, ah, this song, this song is something else. I... I took it to, I came to Lagos, I came to work on it, mix it and master it. And then I met some people who were like, whoa, we couldn't sleep when we heard this song. You know what, let's push it out. So I put it on, on, on the internet. I released it online in November 2009. And the response I got was, it went viral. Wow. It was moving from phone to phone. I didn't have enough money to fund, you know, a, mm -hmm. a, a proper promotional, uh, you know, uh, whatever. I, I couldn't promote it properly, so I, it, it, was, it went really viral, and the funny thing about it, or the wonderful thing about it, is it's still relevant till today. Honestly, because you know? I got arrested yeah. by that song, because... Uh, the only arrested? Time, yes, uh, because wow. only, uh, I'm, I'm a radio freak, because that's the only, yeah. time I get to, the only time I get to listen to radio is when I drive, so I okay. always listen to radio, and I heard the song first. Uh, the language and yeah, I had English. yes so now you do you do pigeon and uh, listen to that particular song I got some bit of Delta and Edo yeah, so yeah. I want to say that's a Bendel song for instance yes, or Bendel is. beat yeah. do you have any affinity or a relationship with uh, Delta oh wow okay my mom is from Delta State my mom is Ukwani Ukwani tribe in Delta State they, they call them Delta Ibu uh, yeah, she then my father is Bini and Osaka. So, and then I grew up in Wari for about six years. I lived there for about six years and I lived in Benin for 23 years. So, so the, yeah, and then you had professor, yes, Pichin. then Port Harcourt. Ah, professor, no, no, no start. <laughs> yeah, maybe make, make we watch it. <laughs> let's, let's watch, let's watch the prayer for you again. A clip of it, then we'll come back and wrap this up. Okay. You always be my surely meet again and when we meet again none of us go day in shame but now from glory to glory in jesus name we go surely meet again oh if i offend you before forgive me uh, so that when we see again you know go get the bb for me Y'all need each other to see life through. So I go always pray for you. 
pray for you. So what was that you were thinking when you wrote the song? I, well, I, 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 it was going to be a negative song. I know if they always pray for you, like, yeah, you need to. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. you need to take up some responsibility to yourself. yourself. Wow. So when I got home and I was producing it, I, I just felt, okay, why not turn it to I go always pray for you? Because there's so much. I you know people ask me if there was one person in particular I was mm. talking to. But I, I wrote it like a template, like, hey, the world, we need to pray for each other. So you know what, let me put it in, let me personalize it and then put it in such a way that you can tell someone else, I go always pray for you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I was writing uh, all the scenarios where it could play out, started coming to my head. Mm -hmm. Even funerals, I go pray for you, we'll meet again. Wow. You know? So yeah, I, 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 so I decided, uh, and it came from a really deep place. So it's... You, um, Chocolate City signed you in 2012. Yeah. Who yeah. found who first? Chocolate City found you or you found Chocolate City? I think there was a mediator. There was a mediator, <laughs> not I think there was a mediator. Hey, okay. An American heard the music and was stunned. And he said, okay, it was he, Jeffrey Daniel, the legend. Mm -hmm. yes. He was co-judges with him. Um, yeah, he, he's been the Lakers a couple yes. of times. Yeah, yeah. so he, he was like, hey, I'll do, you gotta hear this, you gotta hear this guy. And, and so he gave him my work. I had already heard Always Pray For You. And he said, okay, you know what, let me listen to other songs. So I gave him my phone. Mm -hmm. so and these are young Nigerians, like yeah. Audu, young yeah. Nigerians yeah. helping each other and yeah. making sure that we've been heard uh, internationally. Yeah. yeah. So, um, it, and you know, because this kind of music that I do, whether gospel or inspirational, does not really have that welcoming platform mm. in Nigeria as much as the Bangalore music. Yes. Uh, uh, but what we're working on is, you know, trying to create a platform. Thinking of collaborations with the old school. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking yeah. of uh, uh, you and uh, maybe Professor Victor Waifo. Yeah, anybody. Any, mm -hmm. I, I'm, it's all about the music and making an impact. You know, yeah. And I, because I grew up in the 80s, I'm not going to throw away my musical roots and mm -hmm. what I got from. For instance, I met Raskimono yesterday and he told me he listened to the whole album and he plays all the songs back Whoa. to back. You know, wow. I, I, it's so it, it was like an amazing hand of fellowship like yes this, are we expecting it. any other albums soon oh i just released my album in <laughs> in march so yes i but i'm i'm always working i'm a lab person i'm work is play for me so i i'm always in there doing something new thinking about what song do i write that will correct this you know i i, I look beyond the individual problems that we face in nigeria mm. and i look towards the mindset that's why i've not done a song to to address our ebola or the missing girls or whatever i think about a mindset that leads to stuff like this let's get personal you said you work all the time yes mm. Mm -hmm. so tell us about is uh, that work affecting somebody no it's not affecting anybody okay because so there's somebody uh, all the fine girls out there want to know. He's not me. Well, he's a pastor. Well, yeah. we have he's to, a we, pastor. We, it we doesn't pastor matter. We, we, have to, <laughs> we have to go now. But, uh, well, uh, of course, uh, off cameras, so when he stepped in, uh, she's been uh, no. talking about, she's been talking about so a fan. Like, okay, you have to answer the question. She's been talking about a fan of his. Okay. Uh -huh. and, the fan uh, is a guy now. The fan is a guy. Yeah. Is there it, does, a girl? It, does, it doesn't matter. In, there a girl? in the picture. Mm hmm not exactly but there there is the intention to make it game finally maybe god is okay as we go hand. now well well i'll just sign off and uh, we'll <laughs> let him sing to uh, it's an honor the, this the man girl. is a legend i used to listen to him on radio sounds like a lady sports i well, will never forget when i saw aww. you on channels i was like hey. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I, I have a small body, so no one knows I'm old. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you so very much. We're, we're, very really, much. we're really thank honored you. having you. And yes. uh, well, it's great Don't seeing worry. great Nigerians doing something fantastic. Yeah, and we hope that uh, people of uh, Aldo's kind will also be out there to help yeah. young Nigerians uh, achieve or actualize their dream. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm Suleiman Alede. And, uh, and thank you so much for watching Sunrise today. We hope you had a great time. My name is Adeshewa Josh. So we'll let Nusa well, serenade us outside the studio. <laughs> That's uh, unfair. <laughs> they also want to listen to live, not studio recorded songs. No, no, live no. I'm song. talking about him. He's going to serenade us right here in right the studio. Right here. Okay, while so we're they're going to listen. I, I hope you won't blush. I'm but blushing anyway. already. Everyone can see. <laughs> yeah, Nusa. Land of unity, land of peace. 
This may sound funny, but when I look around, that is what I see. Land of such ethnic and cultural diversity. A land so rich, giant of Africa. 